when you come to Hearing Australia, you're going to meet a family audiologist who's going to be with you, hopefully for some time, infancy through to school and early adulthood. Your audiologist works together with health professionals and educational professionals as a team. We work together to assess your child's hearing to determine what's the best outcome in terms of hearing technology or device. Good morning, Shani. The young family can prepare for their hearing appointment by coming at a time which suits the child best when they're happy and calm, alert and they're cooperative. For older children, you can prepare for your hearing test by having a conversation about what this might involve, who they're going to meet, and why they're coming in for a hearing test. We've got our light here. An otoscope is an ear light which we use to check the health and function of your ear. We use this light to visually examine the ear canal and also your eardrum. Tympanometry is a test of your middle ear function. We use this test to determine if there's any kind of health issue or your health status of the middle ear which might impact on your communication ability. There are two categories of hearing tests. Physiological tests assess responses which are physical from the ear itself or the auditory pathway. Behavioural hearing tests on the other hand are when we're asking the child to do something to show us that they've heard a sound. Oh, there he is, he's back again. VRA is where we're teaching the child to turn and look towards a puppet or a video screen as a reward when they've heard a sound. Play audiometry involves a play task to show us that they've heard a sound. For example, you might put a piece of a puzzle into place each time you've heard a sound. Pure tone audiometry simply involves pushing a button when you've heard a sound. We use this information to plot it on an audiogram, which is a graph of hearing. It shows us the softest sound that your child can hear. For very young children, we're focusing on speech. What can they hear well and what sounds they might have difficulty hearing in different listening environments. We can then program or tailor a hearing device to help them hear that sound better and support their speech and language communication development. An ear mould is where we're creating a custom earpiece made out of hard plastic or a soft plastic material. This involves first of all the audiologist having a look inside the ear, then placing a cotton block inside the ear canal such that the material doesn't go too far, and then we're using some impression material or putty to cast that impression. So we're literally squeezing it into the ear. It can feel quite cold, but once it's set in place and firmed up, we'll quickly remove it after a few minutes. Young infants are going to grow quite rapidly, so they'll need new ear moulds to be cast on a regular basis. Older children might have ear moulds made perhaps once or twice a year. Oh, this is much <laughs> bigger than before. It is. With hearing tests, we specifically want to know what you can hear in relation to communication and environmental awareness. We then use this information to work out what sounds you may have difficulty hearing, but also to know what you can hear well. For young children in the classroom, for instance, if they're trying to hear their teacher, there's background noise which comes from play outside of the classroom, or it could be from conversation in the classroom itself during a group activity. It's really important that you give us an idea about how your child is listening in a real world environment. Have you noticed anything in particular that your child's missing out on? Are they having to ask for a lot of repeats, for example, or visually showing you that they can't hear something? That kind of information is really key to the advice that we give you. We wait for a minute. That's it. After we've conducted your hearing test, looked at your hearing technology and evaluated your communication needs, we'll then sit down together and have a chat about what your plan is. What would you like to achieve for your child? Is there a specific situation where they need to hear better, for example? If so, we'll provide further advice about strategies that might be useful or additional technology that could be used to help your child hear better.